This is a video presentation of Gabriel Resources Limited. Gabriel trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the ticker GBU. Typically, we will look at shorter time frames, but I wanted to scale this out to a one year to show the way the stock is stair stepped down and to also point out this purple line, the 200 day moving average, because the stock price, with its rise on Thursday up 18% to $1.18, is pushing on that 200 day, and that's going to be a key source of resistance for the chart from a dynamic perspective. I'll come back and talk about the 200 day more in a moment. Notice the MACD has just now pushed through zero. Importantly, we'll look for the MACD to hold over that zero mark. It's an important sign of bullishness for the trend for the MACD to hold that level. Also like to note in the longer term, MACD is trying to make some higher lows, but it keeps failing to make higher highs, so we'll pay attention to it this time around. To see if it's going to get some sort of a channel look to it, where it starts to make some higher highs as well, which would support the idea of making a stronger move off of this bottom. Slow still. Nice climb, moving back on the upper half of the indicator, showing strength and momentum right now. Similarly, the money flow index, the 14 pushing near 80, which tells me that the current stock price is well above 14 day averages. It's a bullish sign. The RSI has been trekking upward over the last month. The 14 is now at 69. Momentum traders look for breaks at 70. Readings above that level are what are often called being in the power zone. Simply, it just means that there's a lot of momentum behind the play. So if we're gonna look for this chart to kick it in gear, you want to see that RSI break through 70. Any pullback, for me, it's just important that it holds the upper half of the indicator above that 50 reading to show that bullish momentum is being sustained in the play. Now, as far as support and resistance goes, the stock closed at $1.18 on Thursday, and I'm going to look for support on any pullback to be right there at that $1 mark. That was an area of resistance coming off this most recent bottom. It was even serving as resistance this month, and it finally pushed through it yesterday. So that'll be a spot I'll be watching for on the south side of things to hold firm as support on any pullback in the stock price. Now, as I mentioned to start the video, I'm going to look for some resistance at that 200-day moving average at $1.26. Right through that area definitely ties in with a support point from all through the spring and through the summer of 2013. So I'd suspect that the combination of that static resistance tied in with this key dynamic resistance of the 200-day is going to make that spot pretty tough for the Gabriel Resources chart to try and push through. The data set that's used to formulate these charts doesn't allow this 200 day to be shown the whole way, but I took a look at a different charting program to see exactly what this 200 day was doing going back early on in 2013. And what I discovered was the chart was holding it as a support point back early on in the year, and when it finally caved through it, it's been fighting this resistance ever since. It's something along these lines. So with that in mind, you can see how important it is for this chart to try and finally push through and hold above that 200 day to indicate some sort of genuine reversal for the chart that this is the true bottom. Now further to the resistance side of things, the upside's pretty substantial if it can make that break through that $1.26 because it's not going to meet heavy resistance again until starting to get near $2. Volume's actually slacked off a little bit in January, but there's still plenty of liquidity in this play. Getting near a million shares traded on Thursday, that's probably somewhere right around average for it. You can see it can have some huge volume days, over 10 million shares traded. So I'm not concerned with liquidity in this chart. Right now, the main thing I'm watching for is to see if this upward pressure is going to continue and to see if it can take out this resistance in the 200-day moving average, and I'll see where it goes from there. As always, it's merely my interpretation of the GBU chart. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure and do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks, registered investment advisor, licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.